when you acquire a work, it's the beginning of a relationship. It enriches you and brings you joy. We've always shared a passion for art. When we moved to India, it was a way of getting into the culture. That was really when we started collecting. So when we started collecting in the mid-90s, the only way really to do it was to go and actually visit the people, and it was the nature of, I think, the generosity, and before you knew it, you were having dinners and spending the night. So we have an art collection and a social life to go with it. The very first piece of Indian art we collected was Ganesh Pine's Woman Before the Pillar. I saw this really quite small, mystical image uh, and they had a, a strange brooding energy to it, which really drew both Jane and me towards it. I think that was the first taste that we had in the beginning of our addiction. There are many different dimensions to collecting. For us, it's very much more a, an experience. It's a journey. Every picture we have tells a story. So this work is by Ramesh Wabruta, a Delhi-based artist. Bruta has a very distinctive technique. He paints several layers of paint and then scratches the surface of the canvas. It's a very painstaking process. This work took him 11 and a half months to complete. It's almost like a meditation. It has incredible detail. When we first started our collecting journey, we had always asked the question, who? But I think we've got to the point where we think the most important question to ask is why. That then becomes a way to unpack Indian history and reveal a lot of the debates that were happening at that time. This painting is by Ganesh Pine, that's called The Assassin. What moves me about it is this sense of brooding, menacing fear what Pine was trying to do at that time was convey the horror of the Bengal famine. One of the things we like to do is see if we can find preparatory works. And six months ago, uh, we came across a drawing, and it really shows the evolution of his thinking. So for us, art is a way to decode a culture and access a culture. People often ask, do you always agree? Well, no, of course, we don't always agree, but we always come to a consensus. These are things that have transformed a house into a home. You can't hang something which doesn't have great positive energy and bring joy. The walls are full, and actually the whole decision of how to decorate a home starts from the art. Everything else grows around that. But in the end, just listen to your gut and only buy what you respond to and you love.